About a year ago, um, one of my drawings featured in somebody's YouTube video called Tumblr Fixes Anime. Um, I didn't watch it because I got really stressed out by the thought of um, being in a like a roast video. Um, I think I think maybe a mean spirited one. I mean I don't know. I didn't watch it, but I did get some messages saying things like, um, "Yeah, you were in this." The guy, rah, 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 rah. a lot of people like passionately defending what I'd done, which was like, thank you. Um, but the time that it was made, this was a year ago, and I'd done the drawing a year before that, so it's now two years old. Um, yeah, but like recently I've had more people kind of bring it up again, like uh, my bestie and then another friend of mine were like, oh, I saw this video and this guy, who I will not name, uh, because he didn't name me, which I guess is courteous because then all of his viewers couldn't like come to my accounts and be like, your drawings are terrible, blah blah blah, Tumblr art style. Um, so uh, this is me redoing that drawing. Um, I was asked to do like a speed paint, it's not, I don't paint, um, but I think that's just the term for like a, a speedy time lapse of a drawing and because I love to talk, I'm gonna like add a narration. Um, at the time that I'm recording this, I have already recorded the narration, so it's already done. The uh, the drawing in question is um, of the Teen Titans, uh, and it was kind of based on um, a promo art from the, the cartoon from the 2000s. I think it was 2005. I've been saying 2005, but it might have been like 2003. Um, but it's a really a cartoon I really love. Um, and I think contrary to what this guy roasting, I guess all those people's work was, it wasn't me trying to like fix, fix it. Um, when I was drawing, you know, like different versions, I, whenever I draw things, it's not like I'm trying to repair their work because I love the, the cartoon. I think it's great. Um, what I want to do is just bring them into my own world, do uh, my own version because I think Every version that people do is valid. I mean, there's loads of versions of the Titans because it, it was like a comic and then a cartoon and then um, another cartoon and a live series now. Um, okay, yeah, so please enjoy me drawing fast. Now we're into it. I'll try and explain over this frantically speedy time lapse uh, a little bit of what I'm doing as I do it. As I mentioned, this is a redraw, so I did already have the original piece to work off. Um, I honestly just sketched over those original poses, altered them just a little, and then moved them around. So they're more like in front of each other, see where the with stuff are at the back, and then Robin at the front. Um, and it's kind of less like they're all just stood in a line, which is fine, but I guess this is a bit more like dynamic and cool. Um, sometimes, yeah, the sketch that I start with is a bit too scruffy, um, and I need to do a second sketch, uh, kind of to work things out, a bit like on this one, but other times it's a line art stage that I am apparently on, uh, where I actually do the working out of things will go, like where the faces will be and the clothes. Um, I wanted to go for like a classic superhero type thing as well, so I placed my rooftop, um, <sighs> rooftop. Uh, I remember Project Rooftop from around the time that the cartoon ended, the 2005 cartoon. Um, uh, a lot of fan artists were designing their own versions of the Titans, and I think that must have really made a mark on me, because I literally don't draw them the same way twice. Um, and, uh, if, you, if you see on my stabilizer settings, if you're ever wondering, like, oh, uh, this person's drawings, their lines always look really kind of wiggly, that's on purpose, because just this one time... The stabilizer completely died, and I was just like, eh, I'm just going to use it. And I liked it so much that I kept it. I think the the jitter of the lines is, it kind of speaks to me as a jittery person. <sighs> I'm nervous. Um, but yeah, it's good. I, I think overall I, I'm pretty happy with the way I do things now, especially compared to two years ago uh, when I did the original, original one. Um, which I think I might have actually, like, found an original promo image from the 2005 cartoon and then kind of done my own version using the same poses, essentially. Um, 
So spinning on from that, and I could probably stand to find the original promo image. Be like, ah, this is my version from their version, and then my version from my own version. <laughs> um, yeah, so I have been tabbing out a bit, as you can probably see on this time lapse. A lot of the time I kind of need to look at my own drawings to kind of remember how I do things, especially since, uh, like a lot of the time, you know, you get into a fandom, you're drawing a lot of the same thing over and over. Uh, but th this is sort of a case where, like, I don't draw them <laughs> all the time. But anyway, it's colour, which is my favourite stage. Um, and I do kind of eye drop mostly from the the original piece because they're there and I'm happy with them. And uh, I started with Raven. She was totally my favourite when I first watched it. I think I was about 10. Uh, and when I was 10, I, I had my, like, extremely goth phase. I just wore like tons of black velvet. I didn't look anything like her, but sure, sure thought I did. Um, but yeah, I kept her looking pretty close to 2005 counterpart with the black barb and the leotard. But I added some 80s -y things like she wore these big earrings in the 80s and the two brooches on the cloak, the rings as well. Um, I, I like to draw her looking a bit less gray and a bit more South Asian. Um, her 80s version wore a lot of saris. Typically Raven wears a bindi. I thought this was appropriate. Um, I also really liked, I think there was a comic a couple of years ago where it was like a retelling kind of thing um, and Raven was depicted as a Native American. Yeah, I just don't prefer her to be grey. Anyway, I'm onto Robin and it might be obvious but I didn't really know what to do with his look so I mostly left it alone. He's basically just his cartoon self. Um, uh, I did eye drop at first from the original drawing that I did, but then I decided that the green parts, which looked okay on the first one, are a bit less uh, less vibrant than I wanted, so I, I did um, start to change them. Anyway, the uh, the fave version of mine for him is, is definitely the 80s disco version, as much as the 2005 cartoon kind of got me into the Titans and like superheroes in general, uh, I would say that it's the 80s comics are definitely my favourite. Um, just the best. Anyway, Starfire definitely has the, oh, uh, Loren really got to this kind of look. I, I really like to draw her as an alien, like a, like alien, alien. So she's got like pointy ears and a pattern on her skin and just this crazy hairstyle. I, I love it. I based it on this monster high doll. Her name is Gigi Grant and she's like a genie. She just has this, ah, oh, just crazy hair. I don't know how to describe it, but I love it. And I was like, ugh. I've got to give this to her. Um, and I love her tiny little circle eyebrows in the cartoon, so I had to keep those. Uh, but I gave her a bunch more like piercings and accessories just because she's my favorite to draw. Um, yeah, there it is. As well as uh, giving her accessories and stuff like that, I also gave her a little bit of uh, the kind of makeup that I like to wear. I sort of gave her jazzy eye makeup, jazzy nail polish. She's definitely like, whereas I saw myself as Raven when I was a kid, now I'm just like, oh, I just want to be Cory. Um, she's everything I want to be, although I don't think I could handle that much hair. Um, and yeah, I just gave her a bit of a 80s flair to the whole, the whole look. It's more like 80s workout wear than it is um, her costume, because it was very, like in the 80s stuff, as look is pretty skimpy. Um, it's not something I prefer to draw. Uh, now I'm on to Beast Point Cyborg and they must be together uh, whenever I draw them because they're not really together anymore in like mainstream comics and movies or I think there was a reboot they tried to kind of reinstate some stuff um, but anyway Cyborg will always be a titan to me and he and Beast Boy will always love each other um, and I, I, I love to kind of draw them together just because the contrast between them is so big he's so huge and then Garfield's so tiny. Um, in my original drawing, it, you can see there on the side, um, I totally did not draw Beast Boy's lower half. Um, I just just hoped people wouldn't look. So this time I made sure that he had his, his legs wrapped around Vic like a monkey. Because he's a little monkey boy. Um, but his look, though it's not super visible, I, I gave him like his Young Justice look. Uh, just a unitard, but no shoes, because he's a gremlin and he doesn't need him. And I... Ooh, you can see here I totally just hid Vic's legs. Let's say he's wearing leggings. Um, I like his cartoon blue glowy parts, so I 
I kept those, but I made it like a bit cheesier with the circuits quotation marks. And uh, the last few bits here are just the details. Um, the rest of Raven's cloak still enveloping the gang, like on the original piece. I just thought it was fun to be super dramatic there. And um, then I also did Starfire's hand or glowy. It's not really how the star bolts look. It's more like, oh, just green goo. But ah, I like the way it looks. Um, yeah, and then the background. The buildings, I wanted to keep them pink just because pink is my favorite. Uh, you know, like a pinky orange glow is just something nice. Maybe it's a sunset. They've just finished. Um, <coughs> Ooh. Ooh, I'm just going to leave that in. Okay. So the le the very last part of this was where I kind of decided that I wanted to make it look like a comic book cover. That wasn't super my intention at the beginning. I just wanted to shake up the orientation. So um, around the time the cartoon had just finished, I think they did have a series you know, there's a cartoon now, which is Teen Titans Go. Um, but this was a comic series, which was also called Teen Titans Go. And had a lot of really jazzy looking covers. So I took a look at some of those. And I thought the best way of doing the title would be to just literally use the cartoon's title. So there it was. And then I added one of those little things in the corner that says the price and like the serial number. It costs zero dollars because my art is free to view on Tumblr and Instagram and now YouTube pretty happy with it overall. Um, I think it looks good. The little details are fun. I love drawing the titans and yep here I'm just grabbing a, a paper texture. It's a slap on there and make it look a bit more like a real thing. Um, but I did keep it subtle because I don't want to overpower everything that I've drawn. And that is coming up to it. I'll show the finished thing now. And here it is, um, the finished piece as a like a fake comic book cover, and I'll also show the original again. Uh, there's the two of them um, together. Um, overall, I think I'm really happy with the the new version. I I think it's not perfect because uh, the art journey never stops. Um, uh, maybe I'll come back and do it again. A uh, thing I like to do, especially if I'm kind of running out of ideas, and I guess this is what Disney's doing, is going back to an older thing and redoing it. Um, but when I do it, it's okay. When Disney does it, it's for money, and all my art is free to view. Um, thank you for watching. If you did, I hope this was enjoyable, and goodbye.